Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving fractional equation. Solve the equation x squared plus 4x upon 3 plus 84 upon x squared plus 4x equals to 11 and find the values of x. We say solution. We write again the equation, right? Now, before we solve, please help by subscribing, like and also share. Now let's go. If you look at the question here, the numerator is a quadratic equation and the, the numerator for this first fraction, the numerator for the second fraction is what? It's a quadratic equation and they are alike. In other words, they are the same. So we let for them. So say let and x squared plus 4x, right, equals to m since they are the same. For us to simple, for us to solve it simple way, right? Good. Now what are we going to do? Since we have let's, let's mean um, x squared plus 4x equals to m. It means let it be m. So anyway, you see x squared plus 4x, you should put there m. So we say m upon 3, you see, plus 84 upon, here again, x squared plus 4x, supposed to be what? m is equals to 11. You see, what is the next procedure? We solve for the fraction. We find the LCM, the two fraction. What is the LCM? It's 3M. 3 times M is just 3M. So 3M, um, 3 into 3M is just what? M. M times M is M square plus. M into 3M is just what? 3. 3 times 84 is just what? 252. Right? It's equals to 11. And what are we going to do? Try to remove the fraction by cross multiply. 1 into the numerator here is just the numerator, which is what? m squared plus 252 is equals to 3m times what? 11 is just what? 33m, right? 33m. What are we going to do? Now we have arrived in a quadratic equation. We solve it, right? We are in the quadratic equation. So say m squared and minus 33m plus 252 equals to 0. Right? What are we going to do? Solve the quadratic equation. We'll see what? 252m square. We are going to find two terms. If we add those, if we add or subtract those two terms, it's going to give you minus 33. If we multiply those two terms, it's going to give you 252. What are the two terms? Are uh, 21 and 12. So we'll say minus 21m minus 12m. You see it? Minus 21m minus 12m is minus 33m. If you use your calculator, minus 21m times minus 12m is going to give you plus 252m square. Right? Now we take the last term plus 252 equals to 0. Here we see what? The first term m. What's next? We group them. We group them into two brackets. Now in each bracket, we are going to find what? The common factor. What is the common factor for this bracket? It's m. m into m square is just m minus 21. m into minus 21 is just what? C minus m to 21. m into 21 is just 21. We see here minus this minus. The common factor for this second bracket is 12. 12 into 12m is just what? m. Minus times plus is minus. 12 into 152. Sorry, 252 is just 21 equals to 0. Now we take the numbers, the digit that are outside the bracket. So see m minus 12. Here we see m minus 21. Good. We see equals to 0. What are we going to do? We find the value of m. So see in each of the brackets, m minus 12 equals to 0. M minus 21 equals to 0. So M is equals to 12. If we transpose, M is equals to 21 when we transpose again. Now we know the values of what? M. The first value of M is 12 and the second value of M is 21. But the question says we should find the values of what? X. Do you see? Now since we know what M, M is, see here, we let what? You say let M X square plus. Let M, let X square plus. For m b m, so see, since since m is equal to what x square plus what 4 m, that's what m is. m 
is representing x squared plus 4m. So anywhere we see m, we now put out x squared plus 4m. We will substitute it again, right? We say m is equals to 12. For here again, we say m is equals to 21. We still continue. What is m? x squared plus 4m. So x squared plus... Sorry, it's supposed to be 4x. Good. x squared plus 4x, right? If you watch here x squared plus 4x good this one is x squared plus 4x plus 4x right is equals to 12 here again what is m m is equals to x squared plus 4x equals to 21 what's next <clears throat> we have arrived in the quadratic equation we set the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals to 0 x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals to 0. You see? Now let's solve the quadratic equation the, each one after the other. We are going to have, if we multiply this first term and this last term, we are going to have minus 12x squared, right? So we are going to find two terms. If we add those two terms, we, we are going to have plus 4x. Then if we multiply that, we are going to have 12x squared minus 12x squared. With the two terms are 6 6x minus what? 2x. Those are the two terms. 6x minus 2x is going to give you plus 4x. 6x times minus 2x is going to be minus 12x. Do you see? Minus 12, the last term, and x square. We put our plus. Now we do, we do get the same thing by grouping them. Good. Equals to 0. Do you see? What are we going to do? We find a common factor, just what we did as previous. The common factor for this first bracket is x. x into x squared is just x, right? Plus x into 6x is just 6, minus the common factor here is 2. 2 into 2x is just what? x, minus times minus is plus. 2 into 12 is just 6 equals to 0. So what is x? So x minus 2. Here again we say x plus 6 equals to 0. We find the values of x. So x minus 2, x plus 6 equals to 0. So x, if we transpose, we are going to have, if we transpose minus 2, we are going to have 2. Here x, we are going to have minus 6. So the first two values of x is what? 2 and 6. So we say therefore, x dot x, the values of x are what? The first, the small number first, minus 6 and 2. Do you see? Now we know the first two values of what? X. We come again for this order. We are going to do again the same thing, similar. So we see what? Minus 21 X squared. If we multiply this first term and this last term. Right? What are we going to do? We are going to find two numbers. If we add or subtract them, it's going to be plus 4x, then if we multiply that, we are going to have this. The two number is what? 7x, right, minus 3x. So we put the what? First term, which is x square, and the last term, which is minus 21, equals to 0. We group them. Good. What are we going to do? Find the common factor, which is x. x minus 7, right? Here again, which is 3x plus 7. Here is plus, uh -huh, x plus 7 equals to 0. Hmm? Good. We take the outside number, x minus 3, x plus 7 equals to 0. What's next? So, we so find the value of x. x minus 3 is equals to 0. x plus 7 equals to 0. Right? So, we say x equals to 3, x equals to minus 7. So, we say therefore, the values of x for this second quadratic equation is what? Minus 7 and 2. So what are we going to do? We say the values values of x are what? 6 minus 6, 2 comma minus 7 and 2. These are, these are your answer. The values of 6 of x are what? Minus 6, minus, um, sorry, 2, minus 7 and 2. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share.